Hi guys and welcome back. This is part 12 of my Unreal Engine for multiplayer FPS course. In this part we'll be finishing up the ready up system and if you guys have any questions or suggestions you could leave those on my discord server over there. So let's get started. One thing that we do want to do is actually set this as well to not and this to not ready. Small mistake from my side over there. And one more thing over here where we send the message when we enter the lobby set this as well to not instead of not ready all right now over here under chat message type once you install the vrs plugin you should have access to various tools to actually manipulate json files so for not ready what we are going to do is first of all we want a json object so we'll call this one lobby ready state object and over here this one is going to be a rest json so it's going to be va rest json object now over here first of all we want to get this from here you want to get object array field all right and the field name is going to be players now we are just uh, naming this players you could name it anything according to your wish get its length and if it is less than or equal to zero in this case we'll just do an if check and if we if the length is less than or equal to zero it means that we haven't actually created the object itself so we are going to be setting this so alt drag or here drag in make json and add in an object array field so object and this one is going to be an array and we can type in make array and over here we can drag in make json once again so this one is going to be the field itself so the first one that we need is actually the player steam id which is going to be a string and the next one that we need is going to be a boolean and this one is going to be ready so this will store the information on whether he is ready or not so over here this is coming off of not ready so what we want to do is just grab in the user steam id so get steam id as string so we can do that or actually we can do it just before this Alright, so get steam id as string and this is going into the steam id and ready is going to be false. I figure we shall actually make this a single function so that we can actually reuse it and this is going to go into true. So if we actually don't have anything so we can do this and create the json object. Once we actually do this we can drag in set lobby data over here and the key is actually going to be let's say ready info and the value is just going to be this whole json object which we can get as a string encode json into single string compile that and the lobby id is going to go in over here so this is going to be the lobby id of course you could get the variable as well so you could do this as well nothing wrong with this it is going to be the same lobby id now what we can do is we can drag all of this code over here right click and click on collapse to function and this one is going to be called handle player ready state or we, we can just call this set player ready state all right uh, we'll just add in another boolean input so rather than this just being uh, not ready we can drag in a boolean input and we can reuse this same boolean anywhere else so instead of self2 this one is actually the matchmaking object so what we can do is we can actually get matchmaking and we have an error over here somewhere so this one is not going to be connected now if we do actually have elements in the array what we can do is we can get the object again 
and we can first of all get the array field that is players and make sure when you are actually setting this over here we are uh, calling this one players just uh, change that over there call this one players and over here steam id and ready that seems to be fine all right so from the lobby uh, ready state object so we can loop through and find the player so we want to get string field and the field name is going to be the actual steam id so this is going to be the string field the field name is going to be called steam id and if this is actually equal to the steam id which is here so if the player exists in the array then that's well and good so we can have a local boolean variable and call this player exists and this one is going to be of type boolean so if it is true we'll just set player exists to true otherwise we are just going to leave it as is by default it is going to stay false now once the loop is in fact completed we can check if the player exists in the array so if the player already exists in the array what we can do is we can also store the index so promote this to a local variable and call this one player index so drag this in and we are going to set the player index so in that case what we can do is we can actually set the array so get the object now we can work with the copy of this so what we can do is we can promote this to a local variable and call this one uh, local re ready states and we'll just drag this in or just ready states would also do so we spell that correctly so this is going to be ready states so we have a copy of the array which we can work with and manipulate so now that we have this we can do the if check so if it actually exists in the array so let's say the player exists then what we can do is we can take the index and we can actually set the array element over here so the player index is going to be the index and uh, just enable size to fit it doesn't really matter over here since he already exists but just so that you don't take any chances so if the player already exists so we want to set the array element and we want to make json and again you're going to be having two fields uh, that is going to be steam id so steam id this is going to be a string and this one is going to be ready this one is going to be a boolean and the steam id is just going to be the steam id from here and ready is going to be the ready state so we can call ready over here all right so now if the player does not exist what we can do is we can add an array element so what we can do is if the player does not exist we can add an array element and we can make json again or we can actually copy this over and the steam id is going to be steam id and ready state is going to be ready state let's just tidy things up over here steam id steam id and th the ready state is going to be ready state itself okay and now that we are done with that we can get our lo lobby ready state object which we have already got over here and from here we can set object array field to the local copy that we have and manipulated so these are going to be the ready states and this one is going to be called players so this is going to be the new object and we want to do the same thing over here as well once we add the new player into the array now i guess that's pretty much it for the ready system so let's actually uh, call the function to set the lobby data again so again we are going to be doing the same thing so we can set the lobby data and since we do have the object directly over here we have already set it so we can directly convert that to a string and we can encode that and set the lobby data now head back into your event graph and over here we can replicate this and we can set this to ready 
so we can get the same steam id again whatever we got over here and we can drag this in and for the ready state for ready it's going to be ready now over here for refresh what we can do is we can call our refresh friends list function so i'm not sure if we have it here so i think it's called lobby members and over here we have access to the refresh friends list function or refresh members function which we can call under refresh and we will make the modifications to get this working now once we set the player ready state we want to send a message over here in the lobby the, a lobby chat message so that we actually know that the other players have to refresh now so instead of not i'm going to type in refresh and for target it's going to be steam matchmaking drag that compile that and lobby id is going to be lobby again and same thing goes for not ready we want to trigger a refresh one more thing that you have to do is get steam matchmaking here and we want to actually get the lobby data so get lobby data now with this we can access the json that we had over here which we saved in the lobby data and i'm not sure what we actually called it so let's just check our uh, set lobby data so we called it ready info so the key is going to be ready info and over here we can decode the json so we'll need a json object reference so that we can decode it in here so decode json and drag this into refresh and refresh members is going to be after that so the json string is going to be decoded into lobby ready state object for each of the non owners as well so basically what this did this function in case you guys are confused so first of all we are setting the lobby data the info of whether a player is ready or not on the owner of the lobby or i should say the lobby leader and then what we do is on the non lobby owners we are calling refresh so from the owner side we are sending a message to trigger a refresh on the non lobby members and when the non lobby members actually refresh we get the lobby data because at this point we know that the lobby data is set to the updated ready info now that we have the latest info we can trigger the refresh function by first of all getting the data because this json object is present only on the lobby owner right now right now the other players don't have it and once the other players in the lobby do get access to it we can call the refresh members function now open the refresh members function and we need to do slight modifications over here now just to indicate whether a player is uh, ready or not what we can do is we can add in a boolean over here and we can call this one ready and this one is going to be instance editable and will be exposed on spawn as well and we can just uh, refresh this node so we got access to ready now in main gi we want to create a function that is in our game instance and this one is going to be called get player ready state now the input is going to be a steam id so this one is going to be called steam id we could either do this as a string or as a steam id struct i'll just do it as a steam id struct and we will get it as a string and now we can get the lobby ready state object and we can get the object array field object array field and the object array field is going to be players and we can look through this we can get string field and the field name was steam id oops steam id and we want to check if this is equal to the steam id of the player which we passed in so if it is equal so if it is equal what we want to do is we want to return that player's ready state so now that we have access to it we can drag in our return node and we can skip the loop right here so 
if this is equal to the steam id we want to get boolean field get bool field and this one was called ready and we can just return it over here like this now every time we want to get the latest info so we can call this uh, we can make this a pure function now head back into your lobby members and now since we have access to main gi we can get the ready state and we can grab in our steam id and we can plug that in like this now when we create it so we are actually refreshing the whole widget so now we can drag our ready state so what we can do is we can drag in a select uh, before we do that uh, let's actually check what to do with this so we are going to change the color of the border so right now the brush color is black by default we can make it green or something so we can grab in a border which is not set to is variable so we can make that variable and once we make it a variable we can set the brush color and we can can we do select over here yeah we can do a select so if the player is in fact ready so we can do kind of a green color so we can add a greenish tint to it maybe so this is going to be the color for ready and for not ready it's just going to have a reddish tint so compile that and we should in theory have everything working except we don't have a ready button yet I apologize guys the video is getting very very lengthy but this is a more complicated topic so it will take time to cover so I highly apologize for that there's nothing much I could really do about it so once we have this now over here in the main menu let's actually add an option to ready up so let's add in a button and this is a canvas panel I believe so we can get the same anchor to this so the anchor is going to be the same so that these two widgets are aligned with each other that's all done and over here we can call this one ready so for the style the background color is going to be a bit more dark add in some text text and over here we'll name this one ready now just one thing that I want to do is in lobby members over here once this loop is in fact uh, completed so we do not have access to the main menu widget here however we can get it through the game instance again so over here on completed get main GI and from our main game instance we can get access to the main menu so get our main menu widget and from here we can get access to the button which we can enable so this one is going to be called ready call that ready button to be descriptive so we can compile that first of all and over here we can get the ready button and we can set is enabled to true now when you actually click this button we want to disable this button so once you click the ready button we want to set is enabled to false so until we actually get further updates until our uh, ready state is actually refreshed we don't want the player to constantly keep clicking on the button now head back into lobby members and one more thing that we can do is we can get our player ready state and for the steam id we can get our own steam id this time so the player's steam id is going to be coming from the steam user interface so we can get steam user get steam user get steam id so we can get the ready state and if he is ready so we can do a select text there's no option for select text so select is going to be fine and over here if we are actually already ready so we want to set the text to not ready so over here get the main menu again and from the ready button uh, we had 
text inside it so let's make that a variable as well so ready state text make that is variable and compile that so we could get it directly from the main menu I guess ready yeah ready state text and now we can set the text here so set text and for the text if it is false if we are not ready we can set the text to ready if we are already ready we want to set this to not ready or I guess you call that unready I'm not sure so I guess unready is a bit more accurate compile that and drag this into set text now in the game instance again we can head back and we can finally finish this video with the ready function itself now you can right click anywhere in the event graph and you can type in ready so drag in a custom event function so change ready state and the input is going to be ready this one is going to be a boolean and we can send a chat message as normal so we can send a lobby chat message and this one using a select so we can select string and copy this over and if we are actually ready so we want to set this to ready so set this to ready and for the lobby ID again the lobby ID is going to be this one now once we actually click the button so we can head into UI main menu widget blueprint over here we can get our main GI this is where we have the function so we can do change ready state and this time ready state is going to be using the enabled state so get is enabled or rather I should get the text here so get the ready state text so if the ready state text is so we can get text and if the ready state text we can do case insensitive here so we can make literal text if it is equal to ready then we want to actually unready if it is equal to ready we want to unready and if we are actually not ready we want to ready up so this one is going to go into main GI and we can just collapse this into a function so we can collapse to function and call this one toggle ready compile that save that just a small logical error it's supposed to be the opposite over here and now if we go ahead and play and if we click on ready it shows green on our profile now this will work with multiple players as well I will try to add it in this video or the next or maybe I'll make a YouTube short I'm not sure but this is actually really exciting guys I finally got it to work it's been a long video and thanks a lot for sticking around now you can unready so it's going to show red and you can ready up